Good morning to you art lovers. Believe me, it's very, very rare that we have a temperature like this today in May. And I'm so happy because I look very, I look forward for the summer. Because the summer, in, you can paint so many beautiful scenes. Everybody's out, out in the beaches, at the parks, and everything like that. It really gives you a warm feeling that we should enjoy our artwork. And you know yourself, everybody has a, a gift and a craft to paint or do something. So I'm trying to tell you people to enjoy what you do. And if you can easily pick up a paintbrush, and I'm gonna to try to make it so simple for you and relaxing and make you enjoy what you're doing. It don't have to be a masterpiece. It has to be something that comes from your heart and your body and your gifted hands that you have. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you a new painting that I started and uh, not being familiar with some of the scenes in other areas, I decided that I'm going to paint. I was given, uh, believe it or not, I was given some slate by my daughter, Linda, that works for Remax. And she's in real estate. And she's always getting rid of chairs or mirrors or something. And she came up with a whole bundle of slates that came from some of the estates on the North Shore. Some of the, uh, I don't know if you remember or not, but years ago, many people couldn't afford slate on the roof. It was all these big mansions, and it's a, it's a rare piece. So I decided if it's so old, and it's probably 100 years old, I'm going to paint on it. And people think that you have to paint on canvas, you have to paint on wood. You can paint on anything, as long as you have the time and patience and talent. So I'm going to take, show you this picture that you just have right now of one that I did on slate. Now, it's a scene up in Ipswich. But what she does, she takes this, I take the slate and I put something on it. And what surprises me, she tells me to add the name of the person that bought the house. We'll say Tom Smith or something like that. <laughs> to my surprise, there's more people in Gloucester that have these slates with their names on it. And uh, it's like anything else, people like to be copycats. So she was keeping me very busy on painting on these hundred, uh, excuse me, a hundred year old slate pieces. And what I, piece, uh, what, what I like about it, sometimes they send me a postcard of something, uh, some vacation they might've taken and I put that on it or I'll do a mountain scene or an ocean scene, but it's really enjoyable. So I want to thank you very much on that. Now, another thing is what I like to summer is, is this beach scene. That is for Lynch Park from last year. Now, believe me, we were very, very lucky in Beverly to have a beautiful park like that. And I mean beautiful park. I don't mean just one lawn and a parking lot. It is really beautiful. And it all looks the ocean with Marblehead, the lighthouse, and so many other boats out there. So people, if you can get to Lynch Park, it's free for the people that live in Beverly. It's a possibility they might have a $10 charge for out-of-towners, but that's not nice. I've seen other artists down there, and I'm so happy that we can uh, go to this park and paint. Well, that's about what I'm going to say what's coming in the future. And uh, you just can't believe there's almost seven people now <laughs> with the cameras, the phones and all that, taking me on television. I am very pleased and very happy that Best Cam has still given me the right to come and be a pest. But uh, I love them all. So I want to say to the staff for coming summer, I love you all and thank you for helping me bring art to Beverly. Excuse me for a minute. Now I have this, I have this old slate right here. This is what it looks like, Un, not done. I have to fill in the holes, and I do fill in the holes, and I put a primer on it, and these are pretty heavy, I'm surprised. Sometimes I cut them in half, and the woman like, might like a smaller one. 
But you've got to remember that this is something that's been on many, many rich mansions here in Beverly. And they're rare pieces because uh, one, of the, one of the pieces I was, did was being a gift to, I think it was uh, uh, Senator Lodge. But other than that, forget it. Let's go back to my artwork. Well, what I'm going to do now, I pre-painted the slate, which looks like this here. It's blue. So I'm going to take my brush. I don't know. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to feel what I should paint. I have nothing here to show me. But let's be surprised what comes up. And let's enjoy it. But you've got to remember that you have to have a lot of patience and you've got to be relaxed. So you take the brush, you dip it in a little water. Okay, that's good, Nino. Here's a little blue. Yeah, it's coming out now. All right, that looks good now. So let's see. We know the sky is blue, and everybody says, well, geez, what kind of blue? Oh, it's a light blue, dark blue. Well, right now I'm going to put the dark blue in because I know my little feelings are going to come out of all this. Here we go. We go very careful. Dip it in water. And these acrylic paints. I like the acrylics and I really enjoy it. So let's let's get going here on this cloud here. All right. Now that's the sky. And if you put the sky up high, it, it gives you a feeling that whatever you put in front of it that you, it brings forward. The longer you go into the painting and the time you go into it, you just can't believe what can happen. Now, see, now I'll put that down. I say to myself, okay, let's go for the white and we'll find the white over here. And if this doesn't come out, you know, my old little trick, I got to put this little needle in here so I, I recommend any artist that paints you better make one of these you can make them out of coat hangers by bending them and it, uh, the paint hardens up overnight all right so what I'm going to do now is just take a little white and I'm going to put a couple of clouds in here there there we go you know you gotta you gotta say hey look at that you know what I like about the slate you can't see the roughness on the slate but right now this slate is chipped like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to follow it. Now look what happens. Now I follow that chip, and it looks like a cloud, doesn't it? Well, I think it does. There it goes, right there. Now, all right, now I say, oh, my God, i got to have a little heavier detail on that. Let's put it a little bit. And see what I do now? Just tap it in there and make the clouds there. That's it. All right. Now as we go along, I'm... Uh, going to say what's my next what are we going to do next well i'm going to take this little little uh, harden see the paint hardens up overnight you know and i try to try to leave the caps on but the caps get too built up that you they, it, you can't use them so let me squeeze some more on here let me here it is. There it is. Okay. Now let's let's follow. Okay. Now there's another little chip right here on the slate. I'm going to follow it. It's almost almost here to, for no reason at all. But there we go. There we go. All right. All right. Now we're going to go to the blue again. What? Bring in the blue. Yeah. See, put the blue underneath the clouds because it's always little. If you ever look up at a cloud, it's always a little darker down the bottom. And that's going to be, it's going to end up being a nice day. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get the blue again. And this is the darker blue. Well, we'll let that go for now. Let's get the lighter blue. Okay. You know, yeah. If, there's a nice, there's a nice chip spot. So don't, don't think you have to have a perfect uh, surface when you're painting, like uh, on, uh, uh, canvas. The only thing I like, I don't like about the canvas. If you remember, remember all the uh, the uh, 
paintings at the Garden of Museum years ago that someone stole, right? Well, they will never steal the Nino painting because it's on wood. And why I, I say I eliminate the, uh, eliminate the canvas, they can just come in there, it's in the frame, just cut around the frame and just cut it off like a lot of other thieves have done in Europe. They don't need the, uh, you don't have to take the home, if you're gonna steal the painting, you don't have to take the frame at all. So they just take a razor sharp knife or razor blade and, they, and that's what happened in Boston. They just ripped it right off, not ri just cut it away from the frame. So I decided, I said, no, no canvas for me. You know, someday one of my work might, might be worth a lot of money, you know, and I hope, it, I hope someone benefits out of it, you know. Some of you collectors that have my work now, hey, who knows, you know. But I'm going to tell you one thing, I'll be looking down and I'll be saying, oh boy, I told him that I was good. <laughs> you know, if, if you don't praise yourself, nobody else is going to do it. We all have a good heart and we have a warm heart. And if, if you're lucky like me, you're gifted with something with these hands. And you know who gave us those hands and gave us a mind that's clear and a heart that's warm. So when you get those three things in your life, if you, if you screw it up, it's your fault. But at least you got the chance to say, I've been given that gift. So let's, let's continue the painting. All right. You know, someone says, you know, why, why have you painted him? Why do you get so excited about you? what you do. I says, well, well, that's life. You know, it's just like a race driver. A race driver gets excited driving a car. Some people get excited riding a horse. Some people get excited dancing. Look at that like program they would call, Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Boy, that's a tough program. Anyways, here we go. There, there's all the clouds in there. All right, now we're gonna bring them down here a little lower. You know, what else are we gonna have? Do you like those cl there? No, I, I don't like this. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little trick in a minute. I'm gonna use my hair dryer. Remember, I told you about the hair dryer. I'm gonna dry this up here because I want to put a heavier cloud in there. Let me just put another brush here and let's dab a little heavier cloud. There it is, there. And just fall, fill it right through there, there. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, now let me see, let me put some trees in here. Get some trees in here. Okay. Put them up straight to the fan brush. See my little fan brush? That's it. Just go like this. There's the stem of the tree. It don't have to be straight. It can be crooked. That doesn't make any difference. And then you just wiggle it in like that. Look at it. Wiggle it in like that. Just wiggle it. See that? Yeah. Yeah, there, there. All right, now we've got some more green over here and another tree here. Yeah, another tree here. You know, it's nice to have a nice scenery as people enter your house and they can see, they can see the beauty of the art and it, uh, you know, you wait sometimes at a door, to ring the doorbell, they don't rush to answer it sometimes. So this will give you something to look at before they open the door. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, anyways, this is going to be, this is going to be, let me see. Okay, now let's, let's put another higher tree up here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, all right, let's wiggle it in. There's a birch tree. No. Okay. We gotta have something when they say, it's, it's like saying welcome to my home when you see something like this in, in somebody's driveway, I mean, in someone's door. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do now is I'm going to look for the look for the brown. Here we go. Here we go. This is another dry spot. There's another dry one, so I have to give it a little of tap here. There. Okay, now we're going to put the little, well, we know we have a little sand, dirt there, right? Bushes and stuff like that. Yeah, right, right there, right down. Yeah, right down there. Okay. And there might be a brown bush there. There's another one there. There is another one there. Okay, all right. Now, yeah, now what we're going to do now is, let me see, with a, where is the gray or the, all right, we got that there. Okay. Oh, we have some black here. Let's have some black in there. Take off the cap. This is not, whoop, there. Got to break that little piece of material there. Okay, now we're going to darken up the bushes here. Yeah, little rocks and stuff. Okay, now I'll put this right over here for now. Now I'm going to get my palette knife. Remember last time I did painting, I did it with the palette knife? Well, now I'm going to get, I'm going to put some rocks right there. Here we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little tap. See the rock? See a little shade on the top? And the, the, the uh, this light color? See how we just put light on top because the sun goes on it. Okay. Now we're going to put some sand right here. Right there, there's some sand right across there. Yeah, there it goes, watch it. Don't be afraid, like I told you, if I make a mistake, you know how I get out of it. I just use a little piece of material. Okay, that's fine, that's where the rocks are. Well, I'm gonna put that there, I'm gonna wipe this, and now I'm gonna go back to the trees Mm. Here we are. I'm going to put back to the trees, a couple little trees here. Not too much, not too many. Okay. These are a little darker because they're, they're going to darken that side, the back side of them. <clears throat> These are the shadows down in the bottom. Okay. Now, what happened here? Let's, okay. Let's uh, put some more green in here. Mm. Come on. Come on out, honey. Come on. Wait a minute. Where's that little thing I had? Here it is. It fell down. All right. Let's poke it again. Because they all dry up so fast. I, I don't seem to worry about that too much. I just have to, I have a way of doing it. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, we also have amongst all these trees, believe it or not, in which I, uh, I'm so glad that, that you understand what I'm trying to explain to you, is we have shadows. You know? Yeah. We, there's a stem going up there. There's another stem going up. And then you just draw another stem up here. Yeah. And then you, now I look at it and I say, oh, geez, I think I'll put a couple little guys down here, little trees here. Okay. All right. That's great. That's good. All right. Now, in my uh, experience now is I'm going to put, believe it or not, I'm going to put a birch tree. You know, everybody loves birch trees. Let me... Get my little palette knife. Here we go. I'll put one right in between there. Yeah, put one way at the end here. See that? Okay. You just put it right there. Don't be afraid to make it. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's get a little bit more then. You. No, no. You just gotta. Just just keep doing it. 
little branches sticking out, you know, right? Okay, well, that might come right down to the, uh, right down to the water, to the lake, there. Yeah. All right, now, what happens to a, uh, the, uh, the birch tree, you know it's white, and then you gotta put these little dots in there. There. Now, what to do now, I think I'll have to look for a smaller, there it is, there it is. Put little dots in there, it looks like birch, and swing it to the ground. Because trees don't grow straight down into the earth, they curve. Don't be afraid to put a couple of dots you know, then it's not yeah. Yeah, here's another one. There's another branch here. Another branch there. Okay. Now let's wipe this off again. Like I mentioned many times, keep your brush clean. Okay, and I think I'll put a, another line here, here, for the tr for another branch coming out. Here, there's another branch coming out. You know, you can. You can go right over your trees, you know. You don't have to just say, that's a tree. Don't do that. Just look at it and imagine. Your imagination is the biggest help in the world. You know, just time when you see something, you say, geez, I don't see that, but other people see it. You know how many paintings I must have done and they, they see something in the painting when they're buying it too, they bought, and, they, and they bought the painting. And they say, I see this, and I didn't even see it. You know, I said, my God, see how how imagination can work? Yeah, let me put a little green here. Okay. All right, now what you do now, that's that. That's the woods, that's the tree. But uh, you will know, have to just wiggle it a little bit rough here. That's it, tap it in just, in, just so that the tree is blends in with the other colors. Just tap it a little bit. Tap it here and there. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here and this is a lake. This is gonna be a lake. You wiggle it a little off white there, right into the tree. Okay, right into the tree. All right, now, where's the brown? Where's the brown? Where's the brown? Where's the brown? Here's the brown. Here's the. Now I'm going to show you. This is the little border for the brown. And if you ever went up to New Hampshire, this is what you would see. Up to North Conway, you see these beautiful, it was beautiful all winter with all the snow. Yeah. These are beautiful mountains right here. They're going to be mountains. And uh, there he goes up there. Now this is, see how, see how it doesn't make any difference if it's, if it's rough? Because all the roughness on the slate, it just brings out all those highlights like this. Now I got a little straight line here. It's in the, it's in the slate. I'm going to follow it as if it's a, a little mountain. You know you know, sometimes the the the, uh, the, the slate or the dr the colors just sometimes fall into a pattern. It almost helps you out. You know, not you not that you're looking for it. You know, but that happens. All right, now that's up in the mountains. Now here's what happens now. Now what we'll do now is we'll take the slate. Here we go. Mm. Now. There, there. Now you got to shadow it. See how I put the the darker color on the bottom, and now I put the softer color where the where the where the landscape is, the greens. And there. 
All right, now, this is green. Now I gotta find another, I've gotta find the green again to put in the trees. This is not in the winter scene now. I did enough snow, I def, did enough, enough winter scenes this winter. Boy, believe me. You know, so you, you wiggle that in there. You put the trees in. Oh, a little heavier. Let's put the trees in here. Oh, that's a little. Yeah. All right. Now you can see those trees. I'm using that with this, believe it or not, with this palette knife. And I'm going to blend them in. Okay. All right. Now we know we need a little darker, so I take the black and I mix it with the green. Just go. Take your time. Mix the green. If you don't, well, I see. She herself. I don't like that. Just make it darker. If you don't, you like it lighter. Just make it lighter. Just, just, just talk to these. Just talk to yourself. There's nothing wrong. All right, I'm going to put some dark spots here, too. There. Make it, oh, it's got to be a little darker. See how I just noticed that? I said, it's got to be a little darker. It can't be. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, some over here, probably. There. All right. Now, what you what I got to do now is I got to... I got to put some little leaves on them because you know this is May it probably just May where it's beginning to you know it's beginning to blossom you see the trees lately I mean in a couple of days they're just oh it's beautiful it makes the it makes the I think I'll put a little blue and a little darker blue I think let me try that oh, this is the that little that other blue I had okay I got a, yeah, blue and green. Now I just want to mix it up a little bit. That's it. Mm, there they are. Just put little leaves on them. Make them look. There's the trees. There's trees in there. Here they grow. Okay. Now, they got to have some light. They got to have some light. So I'm going to go to the yellow. Mm, boy, oh boy. Let me grab this yellow here. Yeah, see how that is? Yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take it from the stem. Watch. See? All the little yellow blocks. How the sun just hits it and it look pretty. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, that, that's going to stay like that. Whoops, no. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I have an appointment, and uh, it's, it's very nice to hear from people and, and that enjoy my work. So if, if you don't mind, I'll have to ex uh, wait another session, and uh, I'd be glad to come back and finish the painting. But you've got to realize, <laughs> when you paint, you've got to be very patient and it's you can't do a painting in three or four no three or four. I saw this fellow on television one day could paint a painting in a half an hour you know but it wasn't had no life to it just was just matter of just color they call it abstract a pop art so if any time you want me to do a pop art just send give me a phone call and all that but uh, so thank you again and I'll be seeing you in a few days have a good day Okay?